Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. When did you see Superman say, for Superman safety? When did you see Superman say that? Obviously, Captain Happy got a ranch who's a troll. I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. It's a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. If you want to know what I'm doing here, I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Could you briefly tell us what the Third Amendment is? That's the walk of shame. You need to remember what you swore to protect. And my voice is terrible today. Please, sir, please don't make this look good. I'm begging. They're not criminals. They're going to make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please, dude, please. Oh, oh my God, on, don't do that to him. You guys don't know what you're doing to me, man. Why? Where are you yeah, being? You guys really don't know what you're doing in my life with this, man. Seriously, please. Get <laughs> Now, do you name and batch number, please? It's Captain Happy. God damn it. Welcome back, everybody. Today we're going to be watching J Town Press and Georgia Transparency. They're going to be at a school district in Georgia. And this is an older video. I had this up a long time ago on my channel. And she or he, whatever you want to call him, actually copyright strike me. So I'm going to re-edit it, fix it up, add some more stuff to it. If you want to strike me again, that's fine. I'll just fight it and take it all the way to YouTube if I have to. But anyways, who has bigger who has bigger boobs? Which one? The one on the left or Georgia Transparency? Oh my God, they both need man bras. Enjoy the video. So how are you feeling? A little tired. Uh-huh. Does your back hurt? How did you know? Well, it's obvious. You know, you're carrying a lot of extra baggage up there. Up here? Oh, yeah, top floor. Listen, Frank, have you ever considered wearing something for support? Now, look at this. Mind you, this is just a prototype. You want me to wear a bra? No, no. A bra is for ladies. Meet the bro. that feel this feels very comfortable you see i feel 10 years younger yeah and your posture's a lot better look at you and i can breathe easier too i told you a few moments later oh we use the back entrance student registration i don't know i don't know is this it i don't know come on it's the only door in the back except for the one that the lady is holding open and obviously, if she has to hold it open, it's probably not made for people just to come and go. Maybe employees only have to get scanned in or they have a key for it. Come on, use your head. I think so. I think so. Oh, no. It's closed. You got gloves? No. Is the whole build locked down? No, we have to, um, when you come in, you have to go through that door. How do I get the doors locked? I'm sorry, ma'am, you have to be bothered by two fake journalists. who One who goes walking around with a fake uh, press badge made out of crayon. And the other one walking around with sandals. What kind of journalist, I mean, I'm sorry, real journalist, walks around with sandals and, and another one that walks around with press credentials that are colored in with a crayon? I mean, like, come on. You're just doing this for clicks and views. That's all you're doing. You're not really a First Amendment auditor. You're not protecting our freedom. You're a joke. That's all you are. It's locked? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah um, it, the, it, on the front door, it said go through the back entrance. Here, let me see. I don't know where she is. Huh. huh. Is the front entrance closed? Is the front entrance closed? Are you are you really that stupid? You checked the front door. It was locked. The sign said, "Please use back door." What else do you want? Do you want somebody? With, you want an airplane with a banner flying, flying across to, over your head, saying "Front door closed. Use back." I, I oh my I, I I gotta I gotta be careful. I don't want to say nothing. Um, you can try to go in it. Okay. Um, it's they're it's doing locked. they're doing renovations in the front. Okay. You know why? I 
have no idea. <laughs> Can we go through this entrance here? No, this has this is the hallway for the meetings. Okay. So I okay. think you can go in there. But I'll go see why this door is locked, okay? Alright, thank you. Oh, okay. Uh -oh. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Do you know how long? Uh, she, she was walking in the hall when I was coming out. Is there a bathroom in there? Yes, yeah, at the front. At the front? Okay. Oh uh, ma'am, you employed here? No. Oh. Oh, Georgie, why are you why are you so anxious to get in there? What's the what's the reason? The lady was nice enough to tell you that somebody's coming. They're gonna help you. Why are you so anxious to get in there? What are you What are you sweating that bad? Okay. Can we not get in there either? Uh uh. uh, -uh. Okay, doesn't the front say come to the back? That's what it we does. Thought. Yeah. And they closed. Okay, well I'm supposed to be in a meeting. I mean, I work for Cali to County, but not. Right. Okay, I, we're all laughing because I thought I had this nice parking spot up front. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we thought we had great parking spots, didn't we? Can you imagine being a teacher or whatever they are that are going there for the meeting for the school, walking up and waiting to be be led into the building, and you see those two frauditors standing there like a bunch of idiots holding a camera like that, wearing flip flops? I mean, like, come on, there's no professionalism, you know? People are looking at these guys, these well, these two idiots, like they're a joke. I hope you enjoy the video that I'm going to show on here. Enjoy. I met this girl. She's just great. This girl I just adore. The problem is, she has much more than I had bargained for. She's got that style. She's got that smile. She's got the walk. She's got the talk. She's got that zing. There's just one thing. She's got a penis. She's got that flair, knows what to wear. She's got that face, that girlish grace. She's got pizzazz. Too bad she has a penis. <laughs> Now there's always some failure, always some flaw. Ain't that what they call Murphy's Law? But male genitalia, that's where I draw the line. Besides, hers is bigger than mine. My life's a mess, cause under that dress, she's got a P-E-N-I-S. Yes. Do you see the gentleman that just opened the door? Well, I'm not going to give you a spoiler. Well, maybe it might be slightly a spoiler. I, I'm just going to say this and just make it very simple. It's not going to end too well for these two fraud editors. They're not going to be able to go in there and film and aggravate and agitate people while they're having the meeting. It's just not going to end very well for them. Here we go. Yeah. Hey, here we go. Right. Come on. Social studies yeah. meeting. Social studies meeting. Thank Come on oh, in. Oh, thank talk. you. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. Social studies meeting? Yeah. All right. Come on in. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Oh, we're just trying to get in the public line. Thank Sir. you. Sir. Wow. You, you Wow. There's nobody in there. This is the greatest part of the video. You got the ladies identifying themselves, who they are, what they're doing, what they're here for. And then you got these two clowns showing showing up and trying to get in there. And it's just hilarious, you know. You're not welcome there. They know what you are. They know who you are. And you're nothing but trouble. Right. Thank you. Uh, we're just trying to get in the public line. Thank Sir. You. Wow. You, you be told. Ah, oh, geez. Poor fraud editors. That sucks. They pulled the door so you couldn't get in. Are you going to go cry now? I'm sure you're going to go cry. Hey, you should contact Goat Boy. He could help you do a FOIA. He's a professional FOIA auditor. He could get the guy's name for you. Wow. Come on, guys. Do you think people are going to take you seriously when you go around telling people you're the media when you're wearing flip-flops and carrying cell phones? No, people think you're a joke. And especially when you're going around giving people the finger and standing at the edge of the driveway and the road filming cars as they're going uh, leaving. Are, are you serious? You're not media. You're just a joke. Oh, look, he's, they're closing the blinds. Look. Oh. <laughs> Come on, honestly. Do you think you're a professional journalist? You're not. There's nothing professional about going around giving people the finger. You know, you guys are just assholes. That's all you are. 
you're troublemakers and instigators. You're not fighting for our freedoms like you said previously. There, what are you fighting for? You're not fighting for pre, uh, freedoms. There, there's nothing you're fighting for. You're frauds. You cannot get a job. That's all it boils down to. If you can't get a job, you grab a camera off your cell phone and you record people for clicks and views. Uh, uh, uh. Well, guys, I'm going to leave it there. There was really nothing going on other than going around to the front, trying the door again, ringing doorbell, going to the, what do they call that, the public department, uh, the road department, whatever you want to call it, going in there and asking about asking questions about other stuff. And it, it's just more nonsense that you guys don't need to be subjected to. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, like, share, and most importantly, it helps me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Pay attention to the trolls, especially the ones that even name their channels, troll. You know, that's brilliant. What do you know?